lots of different people would be a good fit for our immersive program. So I think of myself where I was a new grad and had no idea what I was doing other than you know, trying to answer my professor's questions and really had a good support system when I was getting started. Um, or is it like some of the people that we've had come join us recently that they were doing GP and they just weren't loving it anymore, whether it be client relationships or even the medicine. And so it's really meant for somebody who is interested in something different or they're just really interested in emergency medicine. Don't Hi, my name is Dr. Paige Harrington. I'm the Medical Director of Emergency and Referral Services and I'm the During the immersion program, not only will you learn how to be an ER doctor, just the medicine itself, but it's also a matter of, you know, phone a friend when you have a client that's on the line that you think, I don't know how to handle this person, I need some different words. Or, I have three staff members and I'm not sure who should be doing what, when, how to direct them. There's a lot of the skills that we'll develop beyond just how to diagnose something in an emergency setting, how to do CPR, how to see multiple cases at the same time. The nice thing about Vets Pets is that we have several sister emergency, after hours only emergency, and 24 hour emergency hospitals, all within a short drive of each other. And so there's a lot of different ways to get experience in different settings with, that, with the same idea that you're, everyone's kind of working along the same culture of what Vets Pets is. So whether it be you spend some time with a boarded criticalist, bringing how to really manage those complicated DKAs or those complicated electrolyte imbalances, or are you really looking to find the right way to do an anerotomy and you spend some time with one of our boarded surgeons? Or it's time to jump in on a busy Saturday night shift in a, one of our really high volume after hours emergency hospitals and figure out how to manage all those cases at the same time. The nice thing is you can find a lot of balance and get a lot of information from our different doctor teams. 